Hi, my name is Anna, and I would like to say a little bit about how I got in touch with Paul Ferrini's work. It all started with a book that it's called I Am The Door, and it's the most beautiful book, or one of the most beautiful books that I've read. It touched my heart so deeply that I wanted to see what else I could do. So I started looking for more and reading more, and each book, each new book that I read resonated so deep within me that I went into the website and found about the spiritual retreats and I knew that I had to go to one. So things happened in a way that I was able to, to come to a first retreat. And since then, it's been uh, a path of unexpected but magnificent events. I was able to attend that retreat and then I was able to do uh, the work of healing your life, a phase one, phase two, phase three. And now I've been able to do a second retreat with Paul. And uh, what I've witnessed from day one is what I perceive as miracles. It's um, people coming together from all different places, forming such a strong sense of community within 24 hours of meeting each other almost. And um, in these days, what happens is that with the, with the information that is given and the processes that are um, given also, I guess, I found that we start living in a different place than in our, our ordinary lives where we live up in our head with thoughts, judgment, judgments, and uh, trying to fix, analyze, or change one another. And for me, this was a new experience to be able to experience seven days in a row of living in my heart and sharing from my heart. And it was a really powerful experience that I would deeply recommend to anyone who is interested in, in having this shift. The processes that go, that happen in these retreats are very profound. And for me, it's the, the most beautiful thing that I've ever witnessed to see how people move from fear to love, to witness how I move from fear to love, to acceptance. And Paul talks about us becoming our own witnesses, but this witness of our experience is not a witness that is judging, analyzing, trying to fix or change somebody or myself. It is a compassionate witness that is able to hold the experience with love and compassion. And from the time of my first retreat to now that I finished this second retreat, I've seen changes in my life and I've seen significant changes in myself. Because for the first time I was able to be responsible for my thoughts, words, feelings and actions and at the same time to try to allow the others to have their own experience without trying to change them, fix them, or have them do, my, do it my way. So it's been a really powerful experience. It's been such an interesting process and such a transformation. I would really recommend this retreat to anyone who is interested in experiencing the difference between living in the head and living in the heart. Thank you.